Hare Krishna. Devotion is expressed through intention and attention. When we strive to practice bhakti, at that time, how do we go about doing it? There is, there are so many externals in bhakti, do this, don't do this, uh, these are important. But actually devotion is more a matter of consciousness. And consciousness is expressed primarily through intention and attention. These are things which are in our control. Some, the emotion is not in our control. The emotion may come, the emotion may go. But we may feel, even when we don't feel attracted to something, we can have our intention to do it and we can give our attention to it. We can broadly say that intention is something which is boosted by our intelligence. And attention is about the mind, where we focus the mind on. So many places in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Mai arpitamano buddhir mame vaishyasya samshaya. He says, in this way, if your mind and intelligence are offered to me, you will come to me. He says this 8.7 in the Bhagavad Gita, that you will come to me. In fact, later on in 12.8, he says, that if your mind and intelligence are in me, you are already in me. With your mind and intelligence situated in me, you are already living in me. So, when we are practicing the activities of devotion, we are practicing Bhakti Yoga, we need to nourish our intelligence and infuse within us the strong intention to practice devotion. That is the offering of the intelligence to Krishna. We use our intelligence to understand how Krishna is life supremely worthy goal. How pursuing him is what will give us life supreme satisfaction. And that intention for Krishna which is sustained by the intelligence and it, the intelligence guided conscious choice that is what will be the engine of our devotion. And of course just the intention is not enough. Uh, what will happen is we need to have attention. The mind will wander here, there and everywhere because student may come to study but when the student finds that the mind is wandering here, there, the student may know my exam is important but then still the mind wanders. Then what does the student do? The student is serious, they may decide, okay, I'll put my phone in the silent mode, I'll cut off my net connection, I want to focus entirely on studies now for the next one hour. So, the student consciously puts aside distractions or disconnects oneself from distractions so that they can focus more and more on the connection on connection and absorption in the important subject. So, we can increase our attention by decreasing the sources of distraction. So, when we are striving to practice bhakti, we need to offer our mind to Krishna. And that means we strive to be attentive. And once we do this, we cultivate the attention and we strive, cultivate the intention and we strive for the attention, we will find that devotion will bring about dramatic transformation. Devotion will give us whatever little devotion we have, whatever consciousness we offer to Krishna, we will experience sublime peace, sublime richness. And through the experience of the sublime peace and joy, our priorities will change. The intention will become stronger, the attention will become easier and most importantly, the emotion will start working for us instead of against us. And when that happens, then our devotion will flow naturally, spontaneously and will become more and more joyful. Thank you. Hare Krishna.